Hello everybody, my name is Isha Vishal and today I'm going to speak about the power of karma and the power of self-sabotaging patterns. Now, karma is a law of cause and effect bringing upon oneself inevitable results, either good or bad, either in this life or in a reincarnation. According to Hindus and Buddhists, every word, every action or every thought that you think is an energy that you radiate towards someone. Humans have a belief system that whatever work they are going to do or the work they have done is the work that they are going to be fruited or poisoned with. In every action there are two phases involved. Number one, me radiating an energy towards the receiver and number two, the receiver gaining this energy, making that their bhagya. Now you may ask what is bhagya? Bhagya is also known as faith. Bhagya is a type of tusi, components which revolves around the two paraminas. One is modification and the other one is change. So, if anyone has done any deed or any karma in their previous life or presently that you are involved in, then that makes it your faith. And you have, if you have done the same, then it makes it that person's faith. Let me give you a small example. You wouldn't want to gift someone something really expensive and something that you've longed for a long time. But what if, imagine you had to gift someone something knowing it will come back to you. Then what would have that gift been? Truly think to yourself. So now the same logic applies to our thoughts. Now whatever you think is going to revolve around and come back to you. That doesn't mean you stop thinking at all. It means that whatever you think should be pure or in other words, shubd. It should have an eternal bliss that comes from inside. You must have heard of all these cliche quotes. One of it is what goes around comes around. But have you really treasured the real meaning behind it? In karmatic instincts, here's the thing. Whatever deed or karma you have done before knowing the law and whatever deed or karma you have done after knowing the law has major difference. Surprisingly, yes. And this doesn't mean that it is going to reverse your life and bring plus points in your bhagya. Once you know that your deeds are going to revolve around and come to yourself and become someone else bhagya or faith. So the same thing applies back over here and you know that someone else's deed is going to become your faith, you tend to take power and only think good by start to encouraging people into spreading happiness and channelizing good energy out. Karma is directly proportional to the knowledge you have about the deed. The more cautious you get, aware your blinded eyes get, making you sum up to a plus point in your bhagya, also making it being called punya. Having a good punya is always beneficial when you do good karmas. Have you ever thought about the self-sabotaging patterns that your mind creates? These self-sabotaging patterns make you realize how truly and actually you feel about yourself. In particular about the inputs that your mind gets that you're not perfect enough to fit into some category. Let me give you an example. Over here, someone's insecurity and uh, ugliness could be fed by someone else input into their brain and over here the insecurity is becoming the self-sabotaging patterns that is repeating over and over again and it's truly not anyone's fault because self-sabotaging patterns are unique and karma is born from self-sabotaging patterns that you can't get away from so the only thing you can do over here is Whenever you get some thought that is irritating you or making you feel low, you can easily capture the thought. Once you've captured the thought, it's not going anywhere. You can really truly recognize whether the thought is a negative thought or positive thought. It will definitely be mainly negative. And once you know that it's a negative thought, you analyze the truth, you recognize the false, and then you try to implement that in your real life. And once you do this, it will have a great impact on you and also become a part of your life, making it a good karma. Do you know something? The universe speaks to us by repeating ourselves over and over again. 
Any incident that happened to you in your past is repeating over and over and over again in the present. That means that the universe is trying to tell you that you need to take a resolution to overpower that incidental fear. It can be of anything into a strength. Karma relies on three things, your thoughts, your words and your actions. And once you start to cleanse your thoughts and bring in good thoughts, then automatically your attitude, your emotion, your words and everything will follow by to a good destiny. These words will feed back to be your destiny. And this is obviously going to be positive as you won't be able to blame your Paramatma. Paramatma is God, a force that is arranged things to be in a specific way that happens to us. Every time you create a karma for yourself means that you perform an action that is against your spirit's nature. The spirit's nature gives you ample number of ways in which you can correct your mistake or your deed or your karma. But if you start correcting it, then you're free from that karma. But if you don't, the universe or the nature will force you to experience that incident over and over again. But over here, the irony is it won't be for several days or months, but instead seven lifespans and even after death or your birth. Now, you can call this your misfortune or carelessness or instead try to change that karma and believe me, there's no need to really fear about all these high words that I'm using like spirituality, deeds, karma or the karmic chakras that I'm talking about. But instead, you truly have to just understand them. And once you really understand the message behind this, it's time to get to the roots of it. And that root is really your spirituality itself. Your spirituality will lead you to do all good deeds and will help you prosper in many other ways that will add up to a sum of plus points in your bhagya, making that a good karma. Believe me, karma is like a rubber band. You can extend it far and the more you extend it away from yourself, the more forcefully it will smack back at you. And believe me, Amingo, that hurts really bad. Human beings, according to the law of nature, must pay for all their wrong actions. But when they tune themselves to God through the technique of meditation and remember the perfect image within them, realizing their divinity, they need not suffer in their past. Human errors, indeed, enjoy life in a more blissful way. You have truly the freedom to choose your own deed, but not to have the consequence of the deed you make. So always choose your deeds and make good karma for anyone. If you radiate good energy or bad, but always your thoughts should be good. And to conclude this all, I'd say you'd live a happy life if you think good and you think about others as well. Thank you.